ready to roll with the Parkers. Well, for those of you who have ever watched the TV sh series about tiny houses, pretty much the same holds true for tiny campers. There's a lack of storage space, so you need to build storage space and make it as efficient as possible. So, after our, and actually during our first camping trip to Georgetown, I was sitting inside thinking, and for people that have um, a dormer, a hard-sided dormer, there's some pretty strong aluminum framing here. Uh, so, we're going to attempt to make a shelf that um, just sits on here. It'll, I'm going to have to make a template. I'm going to try to get it to fit very good in around this aluminum. Come up here about 8 or 10 inches and then have a piece go back here. Kind of triangular shaped and use the template for both sides. And then once we got the corner pieces, then we can just put a flat 8 inch board across here for one shelf. Then we can actually come up and make another shelf there. And then up here at the top, we've got about an inch and a half gap here. I'm going to take a 1x6, approximately 78 inches long, and get it to where it will just sit flat across here. And then in the bottom of it, we're going to put some hooks to where we can hang coffee mugs, spatulas, large serving spoons, um, and uh, pots and pans, things of that nature. So, um, basically we're going to stop this now, and I'm going to start taking measurements. And when I get the templates just about drawn on a piece of poster board, that way I can cut out the poster board, bring it in, make sure it fits, trim it up, whatever, to make it fit as well as possible. Then I've got a template that I can put on my 1x8 and cut out the corner pieces. And we'll come back and show you what the template looks like right before I cut it out. And, uh, come up here and get a close-up of these angles that I was planning to cut. Can you see them in the picture pretty good? I don't know if y'all can see this, but this is the aluminum frame. It's pretty, you know, it's, it's enough for shelves to hold up some boxes of cereal and cans of beans and uh, stuff like that, you know, bread, whatever. So, basically from the edge of this um, aluminum frame to the other side is 72 and 3 sixteenths. So I was planning on cutting two end pieces. Uh, making all the angles coming up over here so it'd sit real good on this piece of angle down here and Linda says well why don't you cut the piece and we'll get it in here and, 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 and take a look at it. So we cut the piece 72 and 3 sixteenths and Linda says why don't you just cut some wood back here to brace it and let it sit on that piece of wood? And that's a brilliant idea. It's a lot easier than taking all the measurements and cutting all the angles that I was going to do. Problem solved. <laughs> I'm going to go cut the pieces. Next time we take a video, the shelf should be, this first shelf should be finished. Let's show who came in to visit us. Our dog loves the camper.
even though we're just in our own front yard, she likes to be out here with us. So. Oh, yep. And it's hot in here. It is. Rather, rather warm. Thank goodness it's May and not August, right? No, it's <laughs> close to. Uh, it's definitely in the 90s. I don't think so. In, inside of here it is. Outside it's upper 80s probably. All right. But anyway. Here we go. While we're out here, we might as well show what we've got. 2016 A-Liner LXE. Fits perfectly stowed down in our garage. Pulled with a Jeep Grand Cherokee. God, I forgot the year of my car. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get started cutting some more wood. Okay, I just finally put the last screw in to our first holder on the shelf. We measured from end to end on each side so that they'll all be even and then one in the middle. So this is what's going to hold our board in place. And I'm going to switch places with Dwight so he can explain what's going on. And we're back one more time. We're attaching this final brace for the shelf. And uh, it is immensely easier the way Linda suggested than the way that it was going to work what I was trying to do. Now mine would have been elegant. It would have been an elegant, very intricate piece, but it would have probably taken me two days to do it. Whereas now, the way Linda came up with it, we got it done in one afternoon. And there's the last screw. What we did was, um, What we did was, uh, we drilled a pilot hole, we cut these six inches long, we, we screwed one pilot and then we drilled two more pilots so we wouldn't split the wood, and we got three fairly evenly spaced supports for the rear end of the shelf. And eventually, I'm going to get some of these, but smaller, to support these. So, uh, anyway, here's the finished product. Well, 99% finished. These are pretty sturdy with just three screws holding it in, but I'm... I'm thinking about getting some of these just for extra support. Um, I only have, have, I've only found two right now, so if I find a third one, we may put it on. But I may get smaller ones. But anyway, like I was saying, Linda's idea of just putting support in the back is a much easier solution than mine of putting the a piece of wood on the sides and cutting out all the angles to have it fit in that corner. So basically you just slide this in like this and voila you've got your shelf. Now we, we're getting ready to make a second shelf we bought another piece of wood like this and it's just going to braces on each end it's going to have braces on the end we may put a couple of in the middle or at least one in the middle one on each end one in the middle and it'll come up to about here and last but not least we'll have the piece that goes across here with some hooks for hanging 
coffee mugs, pots and pans, skillet, um, utensils that have little holes in the end, you know, down here by the kitchen area, even though we like to cook outside. So we'll be back shortly after we get the second shelf made. Alright, let me show off the shelf. Good job, babe. That looks good. No holes drilled into the camper, I might add. And it can move and store away on the floor so that we can lower the camper. But we did no drilling at all. It just nestles right in there. And rests on the little Raced on the uh, aluminum, aluminum. Uh, br uh, braces around the edge. Alright, on with shelf number two. So, basically this is the top shelf that rests across the end pieces of the aluminum frame of the dormer. We've already cut it, it fits, we've marked where we're going to hang some pots and pans. Uh, who knows what else we might hang from there. Uh, I'm going to drill four holes and then put in some S-hooks we bought. And then we'll show you that in a minute. Much, sir. Oh, you're welcome. You want to put it right back up there? Yeah, you can. Thank you. Yeah. So, the second idea is uh, to hang, to have a board that we can easily move up and down. Take in and out, removable when we pull the trailer, and put some hooks in it just to hang pots, pans. Like I said earlier, coffee mugs, <laughs> utensils, whatever. And that just comes like this. It goes above. You can push it back however far you want. You get the general idea. Very good job, babe. And we got the first shelf still in there. So we're building the second shelf right now. Second shelf to come. All in one day. Great job. So, this was another one by eight. I forget how long it was. But what we did About is About 72 inches or so. Well, we cut off 72 inches. That's the width of our shelves. And the two end pieces, or what was left of it, uh, divided in half. It's a little over 13 inches, 13 and a fraction, to make a little stand. I would suggest 
checking to see if your board is warped, which I did not do. This particular board was warped, so it's a little rocky. But we're going to put a stability piece in the middle when we get another piece of wood. And we can just put a uh, shim under that right side. Now the thing about it is, which I didn't think of earlier, I'm not going to be able to hang anything there. Depending on if we hang a bunch of stuff down here, we may not use that shelf at all. <laughs> no, we'll just have stuff hanging from the um, hooks on maybe the end and we can still utilize the middle for taller things, but or shorter things toward the front, so it will be used. Toiletries or whatever. Okay, well anyway, it was a joint venture. We both have been working real hard today. I think that's all we're going to do today. Um, I'm going to cover those with that white um, cabinet shelving liner um, probably sometime tomorrow. And staple it on there so it'll look real pretty. So, so anyway. The good thing is, is we did not drill any holes in the camper at all. These are very easy to put up, uh, take down and stow so that the camper can be shut. No damage done to the campers. They're multifunctional, be useful. And once I get the white paper, uh, the white uh, rubbery uh, shelf liner on there, they'll look really pretty like they're built in to the camper. So good job. All right. We'll come back with more ideas as we come up with them and we'll show you the finished product once these are all done. But I'm real proud of both of us. Get a close up here of the bottom shelf, removable. We went up 12 inches to get the center shelf. And the top just lays right inside the corners. We'll put up hooks as we think of what we need to put up there. <coughs> and you know what we may do. If we still have our view, we'll put a we'll put a supporting piece in the middle, but we ran out of wood for right now. <laughs> what we may do is figure out what the tallest thing is that we're going to put on this shelf, and then we can trim the bottom of both of those ends to make it to where it doesn't rock like this. I mean, it only moves a little bit, but still, it bothers me. We'll fix it before we go camping. And if, if I turned it around, it probably would rock the other way. Let's see what it does. <laughs> yeah, we'll get fixed though. Yeah. It was our first day working on it. It was a simple idea that I think was a good effort on both of our parts. Also, once we get the supporting piece in the middle, duh, you know, I think that might also make a difference on whether or not it rocks as much too. So, anyway, good effort. as we make an improvement to it, we'll show you that we fixed it. Alright, signing off for now. Hook and horns. And... Loyal dog. Loyal dog. She, at, says, she out, says goodbye. Out in this hot camper with us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, signing off. Ready to roll with the Parkers. Hello. Uh, we've had a chance to sleep on it and we pulled the camper back out this morning and we're going to finish these shelves today. This is a little bit too tall and it wobbles a little bit so I'm going to do my best to lower it about three inches um, and try to keep it from wobbling. Uh, but anybody that's tried to fix a four-legged chair and keep it from wobbling before will know the <coughs> difficulties involved in that sometimes. 
Uh, we're going to add a few extra hooks up top for the measuring spoons, measuring cups, these little clips that we use for chip clips and other things to like hold down uh, tablecloths or whatever. Um, we're going to get a, as Linda put it, we're going to get a big S hook <laughs> so we can hang these bowls up there. Get them out of the way, or you know, we may find something else we want to hang up and just leave the bowls sitting up here on the shelf. Uh, Linda's already cut the um, shelf lining paper, she's gonna uh, staple that down, and she might paint them. Although we may not have enough paint, but we can always get more paint so. That's it. We're going to um, do a little work, come back, and show you if we made things better or if we made things worse. So, sometimes during the life of a project, the project evolves and improves. So that's basically what's happened with our shelves that we've decided to design and put in our little A-liner camper. Basically what we have now is a box with three supports and the edges here support themselves by leaning up against the angle braces in the aluminum frame of the uh, hard-sided dormer. Um, we decided to lower the top the top box, because you know it sits in the camper like this, we decided to lower this and at the same time try to take care of the wobble. And while it got better, I still wasn't happy because it had a minute amount of movement. So Linda said, well, you're just going to have to screw it in and make it solid. So that's what we did. We basically screwed in one, put in a, a screw, put in two more pilot holes and made it sturdy. So the next time you see us, Linda's getting ready, we're gonna, she's gonna paint the things that are visible and we're gonna put shelf liner paper on here and we'll show you the finished product when it's inside the camper. Okay, here we have Linda <laughs> opening up a, an old paint jar. I can't open it. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> I don't think Linda really wanted to paint in the beginning, but I mentioned it enough times that she decided to accommodate me. And What's wrong with just plain looking wood? Do I, why does it have to be white? Come on. Now. So she's putting some white paint down. So it'll match the white walls of our camper. And I'll come back to when she's almost finished. So what we did was we painted the shelf white so it would kind of match the campers interior put all the hooks back in that's number one Come on, when I carried it in, I didn't have to set it on anything. <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> I'm you. Uh -huh. 
one. So <laughs> just kidding. Uh, how pretty does that look? Nice. Okay. Oh, it's a different shade of white. That's all right. <laughs> So what we did was we painted everything white and we have the shelf liner on, which we just used a staple gun to staple into place. And I only painted everything white that would show to the, you know, front. Because we were almost out of white paint. And I did run out of white paint, so that completes our shelf meeting, you want to say? It was actually pretty easy. And it cost us what? Mm. I would say it cost us, including the hooks and the screws, less than 50 bucks. $50 and we have two shelves and a top unit with hooks. We did come in earlier and measured. We put everything out on the shelves to measure how much space we would need so that everything would hang. And then Dwight's going to get a few things out right now. We'll show Melissa. Oh. He goes in and edits these videos and puts them all together so he can edit some of this stuff out. I don't think we had that hanging up there. No, we didn't. I was just seeing if it could get hooked. stuff that hangs and sits on the shelves is under your feet right here. <laughs> I don't think he wants to take all that stuff out though. Nah. <laughs> so you get the idea. Uh, we had measuring cups and spoons hanging up there, our nestled bowls. We're going to get a bigger hook that will hang up there. Our shish kebab skewers will hang up there. Everything from all of our tall glasses to uh, all of our uh, dishwashing stuff to grilling out on the campfire stuff all fits on those shelves, our toiletries. And it will all come off in one easy pickup and store right here on the floor. Right here on the floor. For us to be able to shut the camper. So, and it took us. Um, two afternoons because we built everything yesterday and then today we put it together, painted it, and added the shelf liner and, and had lunch. And had lunch, so. For about, you know, 50 to 60 bucks you can have a really nice uh, shelving unit without drilling any holes into the camper and removable for stowaway purposes. Perfect. When you tow. So great job Dwight because Dwight came up with the original idea. And I simplified it a little bit but the original idea was, was uh, all Dwight's. And I, I love it. I think it looks really good. In fact I think um, people will be asking us where we bought our shells and we'll say we built them ourselves. So. Small camper, but now we've got big storage. That was not any of us. Our camper is just kind of rocking in the wind. We do not have the, what are those things called? Stabilizers. We do not have the stabilizers down since we're just in our driveway. After that was Dwight after a good meal. No, I'm just kidding. All right, cut. <laughs>